your boy King Brando, and to every female out there, I will not be emotionally available for the next six to twelve months because Drake just dropped the album Scorpion. Okay, we doing this, and we doing this right now. Okay, I'm not finna go over uh, God's plan. I'm upset because upset. I'm upset is terrible. God's plan, great song, but I'm not going over that, and I'm not going over a nice for what because we already heard that. We already did that on the channel. So if y'all want to see that, go watch them right now. Then come back. Okay, uh, but yeah. We going over Scorpion, he has an A side, which is the rap side, which is the side I am looking forward to the most. And then he has a B side, which, you know, that 6 to 12 month thing might become, you know, the thing. Because if he give us some Marvin's room, some, you know, some Houston, Atlanta, Vegas on this album, some, some, anything that, like how he used to do. Drake. <laughs> you, you, bruh, I don't even want to talk no more. But if you give us some old vibes on this, it's going to be, it's going to be amazing. But without further ado, Drake, Scorpion, let's go. <sighs> Aubrey, Aubrey, you better deliver, okay? You got an A side and a B side, okay? Chris Brown started this double album stuff again, but you got an A side and a B side. We gon' we gonna do another video comparing. But right now, we going over both of them. First reaction, let's go. Yeah. Take me to the truth. Uh, I decided not to go through every track because it's an hour and twenty nine, uh, hour and a half. I'm, I wasn't gonna do that, but uh, Drake, <laughs> sad Beto, <laughs> sad Beto. My 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 overall thoughts of my first reaction to this because I just got done listening to it like two seconds ago. G. This would literally be one of the greatest albums I ever listened to. If you took Emotionless, God's Plan, 8 out of 10, Talk Up, and uh, put them on Side B, and then you just made Side B plus them four songs an album. That would be one of the greatest albums I ever listened to. But Side A didn't give me that oomph, man. Side A was me, and Side A was like, eh. Like, it was good. It was, it was good. But because it's Drake... I hold him to a higher standard. I need that if you're reading this is too late stuff, that take care stuff, that you know, that I need that I need that energy, Drake. I don't you giving me like the views type. Like and even views had like some bangers, but like this it gave me like that side A, I'm gonna talk about the size first, but side A gave me like this classic kind of Drake, this classic kind of vibe to it. It was like, you know, take a trip down memory lane for all the old heads. That's what they gonna say with it. With the beats, but the production value was just out of, gee, it was out of this world. It was out of this world, like for real, dude. And plus, Drake, gee, you are the king of samples, gee. You are the, let me do this. You are the king of samples, okay? Uh, yeah, side A, but yeah, side A, it gave me like, like I felt like he was holding back, and I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to do all this in one take. But I felt like he was kind of holding back, like an Anthony Fantano thing, yeah, like that. Uh, I like your content, bro. But yeah, like, I felt like he was holding back something in Side A. But I did like some tracks in that. It was like, it was 12 tracks on Side A. I like, I really liked four of them. And the rest of them was just like, like, uh. It was like, um, how do I describe this? It was like a charged up. Like, I felt like he was holding back. But, uh, I think, well, if this is true, what Drake was saying. Like, this is his last album on, uh, Young Money, Cash Money and all that. And then he finna go independent. He need to do like a little Frank Ocean, bro. You know how Frank Ocean dropped Endless and then he dropped Blonde. Like, Endless was still good. It was still really good. But then he dropped Blonde. Blonde was, Blonde is the one that we remember. Blonde is the one that we say, dang, bro, Frank Ocean, G, you went in and you went crazy. Um, yeah, to me, Side A was like a, a, a Endless and Side B was like Blonde, if you could say it like that. But if Drake drop an album like in the next week or two, this will be endless, and that will be the blonde one. Like, he was saving that best stuff for the next one. If what he was saying is true, because he said, like, uh, this is the last album on the deal going independent or something like that. But, yeah, track A was, track A, I, I don't want to down track A like that, because it was okay. It was good. It, like, if it was another artist, it would be great for them. But because it's Drake, I hold him at that high standard. Because, like, he had, like, some bars in that. He had some good bars. I like how he said his Mount Rushmore is him in, like, different, uh... Phases or faces or something like that. Uh, that was great. I like that. He had some bars on here. But I really, 
out of out of track A, the four tracks that I really took away from the tracks that I really liked was emotionally emotionless guys playing, uh, talk up and. Uh, 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10, I really like 8 out of 10. Talk Up, I really like Jay-Z's verse. Jay-Z verse. Jay-Z had the best uh, verse on side A to me, okay? Uh, he said, uh, y'all kill X, but y'all letting Zimmerman, like, basically live and all that. Like, that's crazy. I like that uh, bar a lot. That's a, that's a bar that hit me. I, I'll listen to that. I'm like, dang, G. Dang. But, yeah. Time to get into uh, side B. Side B, G. Side B will have you calling up every ex that you can imagine. Girls you ain't even talked to. Girls you said you never talked to a day in your life after what happened. <laughs> Let me call her right now. Let me call her. Let me call her right now. I gotta call her. I gotta call her. I gotta call her. My phone not even accurate right man. I'll call her later, but gee. Sad B will just have you in your feelings, G. And I don't care what nobody say to me. Best track of the album. I like um, March 14th. That's To me, that's that's a good one. Because that's one where he really, really, really get deep into talking about his son. And talking about like his relationship with his son, mama. And how he got a co-parent. And how he never thought that that was going to happen. Because he thought that he was always going to be like this family man. When he finally settled down and finally had a kid. He thought he was going be to the, be the guy that he... He wanted to be. He wanted to be that person that's just like family oriented. Like when he finally decided to, you know, stop, you know, living a single life, bachelor life, and settle down. He wanted to be that dude for his son. But since they they was only together twice, uh, and they say you know it could happen once. Uh, but yeah, he said they was only together twice, and then he, he happened. And it's like man, you know, I gotta, I'm a. Uh, if I'm not always there, just know I'm dedicated. Like, like that, that, that really hit me, bro. Cause Drake said, you know, I'm gonna be out here working for you. And even though it didn't happen, like I wanted it to happen. You know, I wanted to be the family man. I wanted to, you know, be with somebody who I'ma probably marry or something like that. You know, I'ma still, you know, I'ma still be there. I'ma still love you all that, all that other good stuff that people like to hear. I like to hear that. I like to hear the uh, stories where people feel good moments. Like this is a real feel good moment. Cause like he addressing it. Uh, he addressing his baby and basically saying like, you know, things ain't turn out how it was exactly supposed to, but you here and I love you and your mama say you growing and that that's just a beautiful thing. But he said he wasn't hiding his baby from the world. He was hiding the world from his baby or the other way around, whichever way, but it, it made sense to me. Uh, but yeah, side B to me, that way... Well, I go over like comparing the two sides uh, in another video, but side B was really great, like really, really, really great. We gonna look back on this and be like, this is like side B, probably one of the best R&B albums I don't listen to, just me, cause Drake been going crazy. I like all of the tracks except for Ratchet, Happy Birthday. Like you could throw that track away, throw that track away, like please. It, I, I, I get it, but at the same time I don't. It's like. There's gonna be a song that girls really, really, really vibe to and really like, really sing that song around their birthday. Uh, but other than that, like, it, it kind of serves no purpose on the album. Uh, and the Michael Jackson song, G. Mike. Michael Jackson. That wasn't Mike. I don't care. That wasn't Mike, bro. That wasn't Mike. That was not Mike, okay? That was not Mike. Because, Mike G, you could have came harder than that. You could have came harder. You on a Drake album, you could have came harder than that. <laughs> I can't even take myself serious. But, yeah, I didn't really care for the Michael Jackson song like that. Uh, it was decent. I, I like Drake part. But it's like, you know, that song was unreleased for a reason. Drake, leave that alone. But, yeah. Uh, side B, I really liked it a lot. It gets you in your feelings a lot. Uh, finesse, I like Finesse. Jaded is going to be a song that girls just quote up the wazoo. Summer Games, quoting up the wazoo. Uh, it's a song with a Nicki uh, sample. He got a lot of great samples on here. Like, a lot. Great, great, great samples on here. It's a song with a Nicki sample on here. That song is great. He got Future featured on this, which I think the dude need to put him on that. Because free bands, man. Free bands. Um... Final Fantasy, I liked a lot. The song with Ty Dolla Sign. Ty Dolla Sign been in his bag this summer, G. Been in his bag. Dude was on Kanye album. Um, I think he was on the yeah he was on the one with Kid Cudi too. Um, and he just been going crazy this summer. I like I really 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 I'm really messing with it. 
Ty Dolla Sign, because Ty Dolla Sign, he one of them dudes that the dude is going to be like in everything. He kind of like, to me, he like a Quavo thing. Like, he is very great on hooks and all that uh, stuff. Like, I really like how he do that thing. Like, he really know what he good at, and he know what to do. Uh, but I liked, how, I liked his verse on there. That verse was great. Uh, he just been in his bag a lot, and you can't really fault him for that. I mean, hey, you get on a Drake album. You you going crazy, man. He had uh on the way, he had he had the Kanye album, the Kanye and Kid Cudi album. Um I don't know if he was on Tiana Taylor album, but I think he was on Nazir too. I don't know, but Ty Dollar Sign been in his bag. Yeah, gotta get a man's props. But yeah, Drake, you had a great well, I don't wanna say great cause side A was just so underwhelming. Like when you listen to side A, it's like you listen to that and it's just like bro. Drake, you holding back. Like, you not giving me 110%. Uh, like, on some of these tracks, it feel like he giving you 110%. But on the other ones, it's like, bro, you holding back. I know you want to say something. Just say it, okay? Uh, the Survival, I thought that was a decent, like, uh, intro into, like, that whole album. But I didn't think it was something that's, like, very memorable. Non-stop, I like it a lot. Uh, and then a lot of these tracks on side A... It's just, it's good. Like, I like the uh, flow. I like the beat. The production value, like I said before, was great. Uh, I just don't, I, just, I need him to be a little bit more experimental. I needed him to be a little bit more experimental and test the boundaries. Test the boundaries. Go after somebody, man. I, I get how you address the uh, Pusha T stuff. Like, you address your baby and all that. Uh, but, like, I need you to come and diss some people. Because people been coming at you, G. They've been coming at your head. And you can't diss them just on Duppy and just leave it alone. You can't, you can't give him a Duffy freestyle and then leave him alone. You got to go at these people's heads on your album, G. Especially if you're going to wait. So, I'm handing you the air right now for the Pusha T battle. But, you still had a good album. Side B, unbelievable. Great. Side A, kind of felt like it was lacking something. I'm going to do another video like after I do some more listens comparing Side A to Side B. I'll probably drop that tomorrow or when I wake up or whatever. But, yeah, I, I, I like this a lot. Scorpio. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Uh, favorite track to me was March 14th. Just because it's a very personal song. It's a really personal song. I like personal songs. Uh, but yeah, it's me and boy King Brando. Make sure y'all like this video. Hit that subscribe button. Hit them post notifications. It's called the Three Clicks. Make sure y'all do that. Join the Brando fam. Please subscribe, okay? I, it's 1 o'clock in the morning, okay? Y'all gotta subscribe. And I'm uploading this today. Okay, this has been your boy King Brando. Peace. Drake, keep doing your thing. The next album you drop, I swear to God, you better go brazy with rapping. You better go crazy with rapping. Like, yo, the, 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 your next album need to be your best album rapped. Period. Because you done let us down with views. More Life was good. Uh, and then Scorpion. I think I've been saying Scorpio this whole time. But Scorpion... Um, Scorpion, it was it was decent. It was decent, but I feel like you you need to you just need to go in without regret like you did on if you're reading this is too late. If you reading this was too late, it was probably was that and take care was his best projects to me. But I, I I need you to channel that where you just didn't care. You just was going you just was saying anything you want, you did not care, taking names, all that. But yeah. I enjoyed this project a lot. Side B, some of the ladies gonna love, some everybody gonna love, just vibe out too. Gonna have you calling up all your exes. Speaking of, and call one right now. But yeah, I gotta go. Let me wrap this up right now. It's been your boy King Brando. Peace. Yeah. Take me to the truth.